So this is the kidney strengthening. <clears throat> uh, but before we get started, we're just going to do the wake up. So tapping on those points just below your collarbones, breathing in the nose, out the mouth, getting our energy flowing, moving to the center of the chest, stimulating our immune system. <sighs> Side of the chest, stimulating our spleen, the mother of all meridians, helping us integrate information, emotion. You can even come to the front of your ribs and back to the sides. And then shaking our hands off and just tapping lightly on our cheekbones. <sighs> shaking our hands off again, taking a moment, closing our eyes, noticing how you're feeling right now. Just taking stock, no judgment. And then tapping same hand to same knee. We'll just do about six of these, shaking our hands off and then cross crawl, opposite hand to opposite knee. <sighs> Breathing in the nose, out the mouth. And then shaking it off, placing our hands just around our pubic bone, setting an intention, just a positive word or a positive phrase that you wanna bring into your day. Once you have that, zipping that up, inhaling, exhaling that into the universe, inhaling up, exhale, release. The last time, exhale, release. And then third finger to belly button, third finger to third eye center, pressing in and up, three audible exhales. <sighs> Sealing your intention and protecting your energies. <sighs> and shaking it off. Okay, so we're going to start in a kneeling position. <clears throat> and so you can uh, kneel on a cushion if that feels better. Um, whatever feels good, just uh, we'll be here for a couple minutes on both sides, so probably five minutes in total. And what you're going to do, I'm going to show you on the bottom of my foot. So this is the first point. You're going to place, it'll be your thumb. Placing your thumb in that kidney one point in between the big toe ball joint and the second toe ball joint. And then your other finger is gonna wrap around the base of the big toe nail bed. So I'll point the camera down a bit more. So I've got my thumb in that kidney one point and then my index finger is just wrapping around the big toe and it's landing at the base of um, the, the nail bed. So the big toe nail bed is where the index finger is. And that thumb is in the kidney one. And it's just a gentle twist. So just looking over that opposite shoulder, taking a few deep breaths here. And over time, <clears throat> if you um, do these points quite a bit, you'll notice some pulsing underneath. And usually it starts off with the pulsing being one than the other. Um, and then eventually over time, you'll notice that the pulses unite and that's when you can stop holding the point. But generally, generally we hold the points for like two to three minutes uh, for the first few points. And the last one we hold a little bit shorter. It's like about a minute, minute and a half. And so basically what we're doing is we're draining out all of the old bathtub water. We're gonna fill it up with good clean water and then we're going to stabilize it. So that's the three different points and and or three different holds and uh, what they're doing for our body right now. And uh, so, yeah, this is kidney. Uh, this has to do with our source energy. So when we're feeling tired, uh, kidneys are really good one to activate. Taking a couple more breaths here. imagining that you're growing taller with each breath as well dropping the shoulders away from your ears and on the next exhale coming back through center and then I'm just going to turn around so you can see <clears throat> 
So again, that big toe, uh, that sorry, the, the thumb goes into that kidney one in between the big toe ball joint and second toe ball joint, that little divot. And then the index finger is gonna wrap around the um, bottom of the big toe nail bed. So you're holding two points at the same time. You can even um, rub your thumb into that kidney one point to start with. And again, it's just that gentle twist. So just gently looking over the shoulder, listening to your body, not going too deep. And of course, if this feels better, if you wanted to put a cushion underneath your bum right now and take a little bit of pressure off the knees, feel free to do that. The kidneys are also where we hold fear in the body. And uh, so that's one of the important reasons for helping stimulate it as well as helping release that emotion. And we'll hold this for about three more breaths. And then when you're ready, releasing. And we're just gonna come on to our bum, <clears throat> having your left leg out and uh, moving into a half lotus. So the option here is either having your uh, the sole of your foot against your thigh, or if you wanted to move a little bit deeper, you could always put that uh, ankle over top of the knee, not over top of the joint, but just above the knee just so you're not putting any pressure on that area. I like to have it right next to me. I usually place my right hand on my knee and just have a little micro twist, bringing that um, leg back into uh, the most ideal position. And then we're just gonna place, so we've got the right knee bent, right hand goes on the side of the calf. So you're just, my fingertips just touch the ankle and they're just laying on the side of the calf. And then I'm taking my left hand and placing it on the side of my hand. So everything is hooked up that way. Taking a couple breaths here. Actually, sorry, <laughs> I got that wrong. Okay, so placing the hand here, that hand is on the thumb side. Thumb side, if you wanna get that lung meridian with the kidney. We'll start that over again. The other side was the heart and small intestine, which is also a great point to hold, but uh, it's not for the kidney strengthening. We'll take about two or three more breaths here. And then when you're ready, releasing, shaking your hands off and moving to the other side. And again, taking whatever option feels good for you. You can have the sole of the foot against the thigh or you can bring that foot just above the knee joint um, and it gets more into the hip area. Again, if you like, just placing that opposite hand on the opposite knee and just having a micro, very small twist here, and that helps bring the thigh bone back to where we want it to be. 
And so now we've got the left knee bent, left hand <clears throat> um, goes onto the side of the leg, and the right hand is going to grab the thumb, the outside thumb part. And so my fingertips again are just um, right around the ankle. The reason you want to be really particular about this, we don't want the opposite hand to opposite knee, uh, is because it all has to be done on the same side um, because um, that's the way that the meridians run together and so we want to activate them together on the same side. So again, we're just going to hold it for two, three minutes. Uh, these first two holds, you can really hold as long as you want to. Um, this, the last hold, once you move to the third move, it's usually about half the time that we hold it. And you can release forward as far as you want into the stretch as well. Just making sure that you're listening to your lower back area that you're not straining it, it doesn't feel terrible. I guess another option could be if you're, um, if this bothers you, you could always do this in a seated position. Um, so sitting in a chair and then maybe crossing the leg over top of the knee um, just like in one of those four point holds and then holding on the side of the foot like we're doing right now. Just making sure that we don't irritate anything any more than we need to. Hold for about two to three more breaths. And on the next inhale, releasing, shaking our hands. <clears throat> We're going to move into a butterfly. So I like to sit on a bolster just to prop my hips up a bit more. Taking some pressure off my uh, hip area since my hip flexors are so tight. <laughs> We're going to be making a diamond pattern with our hands. So our hands are going to end up resting on our feet like that. Um, where you're going to put your index finger and your uh, middle finger is just below the big ball, um, the big toe ball joint on the side of the foot. And then your thumb is going to rest in between your ankle and your Achilles. And so when we put the two feet together, we're gonna have a diamond pattern. <laughs> so again, that's the index finger and the middle finger, just on the side of the foot, tracing down on the uh, underside of the big toe ball joint. So getting closer to the arch. And then the thumb rests in between the ankle and the Achilles. And then you can just come forward from the hips, moving into that nice butterfly stretch. And again, this one, you might end up feeling pulsing underneath your fingertips and the pulses uh, might be um, pulsing one, two, and then eventually they'll um, come together as one pulse. And this is strengthening spleen and kidney now. You can do these as much as, as you want. Um, I would just do it whenever you feel like it, uh, and that's probably when your body's telling you to do it. I went to an energy medicine uh, practitioner in Barry area, and uh, she gave me some spleen strengthening points to work on, <clears throat> and she said just do it, you know, essentially every day until you don't feel like it anymore, and uh, then you know that's that you've kind of done what you needed to do uh, with those points. So I ended up doing them for about a month um, and then I kind of forgot about them and uh, and that's totally okay. That's kind of like the, the natural cycle. I did what I needed to do for my body and, and my body didn't need it anymore. So we'll just take two more breaths here. So these ones we don't hold as long even though the stretch is really nice. And then what we're going to do is trace those fingers back towards 
behind the ankle. Make a couple circles behind the ankle and then tracing up the insides of the legs, coming up the inside of the body <clears throat> and then coming back to those kidney points. And then shaking our hands off in the air and we'll just finish off with uh, the neurovascular hold. And so we'll do the water one. <clears throat> so one hand on your forehead and one hand just at the base of the skull. Again, you can use that WHO sound. <sighs> Helping release fear from the body. <sighs> Transforming fear into courage. And then when you feel complete releasing and you enjoyed that, let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.